Hello. Welcome to Card Minds. Thank you for stopping by. This is going to be a Sagittarius weekly money and career reading from July 1st to the 7th, 2024. Sagittarius. Welcome, welcome. Let's see what messages we have for this upcoming week. Sagittarius weekly money and career. July 1st to the 7th, 2024. Thank you for being here. I hope you are well. Be on the lookout on the here out for the magic word. If you're interested in putting your name in the hat for a free reading, all you have to do is put the magic word down below in the comment section and be subscribed. All right, let's see. What messages we have, Sagittarius? What is coming in for the upcoming week? What energies do we have? What messages do we have? Or what are we letting go, Sagittarius? What is this all about? Let's see. Ooh, nice. The Magician. Okay. Coming in. Time to move forward. Time to make it happen. I mean, the magician is the card that, you know, signifies that you've done everything you had to do or all the elements are there for you now to be able to move forward on project, business, job, whatever it is that you've been trying to manifest. Thinking, thinking, thinking about this. Is it time? Is it time for me to push forward? Did I do everything I had to? So with the hermit, it's understanding, right? That you've searched and researched and processed, like profoundly worked on yourself, on the situation, trying to figure out taking the time to bring solutions, to bring an evolution to your career, to bring solutions to your career, to your job, to whatever it is you're trying to process and move forward. And I think that something is happening here. You're reaching a goal here after a long period of reflection or after um, a lot of water that went under the bridge, right? In other words, reflecting on your career, on how you can progress, on how you can develop your idea or shift careers or get that job or whatever it is. It's, it's really, it really pushed you or it's really pushing you to um, persevere into this new direction or this new path. It's something you have wanted to do. This is something that's coming in with the magician. And I think that you now know that you are ready, right? I, I feel like you've taken the time to figure this out stabilize yourself go get help i'm here okay go get help or when i say help it means um finding people that can bring you solutions or help you gain knowledge help you get more experience or maybe taking online classes or stepping up in you know getting another diploma or a training program or something like that and there are people around you with more experience that are helping you and that's really giving you the tenacity the perseverance to to push forward because you know you have enough experience now you have enough experience the moon you're still waiting for answers it's almost like it's almost like 
you have enough experience, Sagittarius, but you're still weighing the pros and cons. Not weighing the pros and cons. Bad, bad choice of words. You're still waiting for answers. You're still confused. You're not quite sure. Am I ready? Should I do this? Am I, re am I ready to push forward? Am I ready to have my own business? Am I ready to start that job with more responsibility? Am I ready to change careers? Am I ready to start my project? Am I ready to get into that school? Whatever it is, right? It's going to be different for everyone. But with the Knight of Swords, you're it's like you're waiting for answers and you're impulsive and you're waiting for more answers. You're confused, impulsive, confused, impulsive, ready, going back to the drawing board, confused, all of a sudden impatient for things to happen. Back and forth, back and forth. So I think that you're still figuring things out. Here's the queen of pentacles. Taurus Virgo Capricorn can be someone you're working with or you're or you're finally finding solutions, right? It feels like you're take and take your time. It feels like you're taking your time to push this forward because, you know, the magician is um, trusting yourself, trusting yourself that you're ready, that you can handle this, that you can push forward directly assertive, right? A little impatient, but you can dare to make this happen. Your ambition is there. Certain perfectionism, but it's almost like you've been so obsessive over this idea or new career or newfound project or, you know, new job or new community you found so you can develop your business or this business that you really believe in or this idea or product even. So you're full of energy, but you go back and forth between very passionate and full of energy and wanting everything to happen now, like very powerful to I'm not quite sure yet. Mm, let me figure things out still. I, you know, I, I'm not quite sure I'm ready yet, right? It needs to be balanced. It needs to be balanced with proper and actual realization of whatever responsibility or whatever, you know, actions you have to push forward to make it happen. So you, as much as you have the determination to succeed, you need the prep, you need the foresight, you need the time to reflect, but I think you're ready. But I think you, you keep going back and forth. This is you saying this. I think you're ready. Uh, I think uh, I'm not sure. Did I think of everything or do I have the stamina to do this or do I have the knowledge? Do that? Do I have the experience to make this happen? It's coming in. I think you, I mean, you know what this is. And there we go. <laughs> Ace of Pentacles. So if you're waiting for an offer or waiting for finances to come in to start that business, to start that project, or waiting for that business offer or that job offer, right? It's coming in. It's almost like whether you want it or not. I think the universe is just going to push you, you know, the last step, just push you into the big, the, how do you say to not the shallow end, into the deep end, you know, of the, of the pool, get out of the shallow end, uh, Sagittarius. You just, the universe is just going to push you into the deep end because you're okay. You're ready. This is what you've manifested this is what you've been waiting for with the, uh, with the magician. It's time to grow. It's time to make it happen. Um, and you know what? Sometimes we're not sure, but we will only know once we start and we adapt along the way. We learn along the way, right? Even though... Sometimes we feel like we don't have enough or we don't know how to, we're not quite sure. I think you are. The star, beautiful, believe in yourself, you're bridging the gap. This dream, this idea is becoming reality. I like this. 
you will be in control. I think that it's I think it's that also that you're not quite sure. Right? You're afraid to not be in control. You're going to master this. You're going to master this. You got this, Sagittarius. You got this. You will overcome any obstacles. And obstacles there always are. If you're starting a new job or creating your own business or shifting your career or going out on a new project, development, whatever it is, on a new path. You are committed and you really thought this out. I don't think this is a rash decision or spur of the moment. You want to do something completely different. This is well thought out. You have the hermit. You've thought long and hard about this. This can be a change of career. This can be a shift. I just think it's you with that goal you have, that vision, whether it's a job or a project or an idea, whatever it is, you've had this for a while. And I think that you're, you're, you have the confidence to overcome any fears or doubts. Right. If you're going through stressful times or, you know, you'll find the power within yourself to persevere. You have what it takes. You're not talking about you're very protective. You're not talking about this to anybody. It's almost like. You know you're going to do this, but you're at the you know, you're really uh, are you going to dive in the water or not. And probably because you have been stung before and probably because you have been stung before maybe by this Queen of Pentacles or you have different options with this Queen of Pentacles or finding different types of solutions, different types of options. But I think you will be clear with the lovers. Look at all these major arcana and this ace. Like the lovers is there to say that you're genuine, you're honest, you're true with yourself. You, it's like, it's the choice about who you want to be in this lifetime, right? And how you connect and on what level and what you're going to stand for and what not. And this is your choice of a new path, of a new career. Or a talent you have that you're going to explore in a different way. Or not in a different way, or showing the world who you truly are. So now's the time to move forward on this idea, business, job, whatever, right? Take action. Bring your intentions in, you know, in. And, and so I think you've gathered all the skills. I think you have the capabilities and the resources because I think you've been working on this for a long time. Here's the finances. Here's the offer. Here's the the um the jump start with this ace of pentacles so i think that whether or not you know it you're ready to turn this idea into reality right it's it focus on that one thing that will really move you towards that goal Commit to the task because you have all the elements to do this. And, you know, with the lovers, it's something that's really genuine in your mind, in your heart. You know that this is what you want to do with the lovers. You're aligning yourself with your aspirations, with your goals. Follow your passion. Follow your passion, uh, Sagittarius. Follow your passion. This is really aligning with what you want to do and what you've been waiting for. This is, this is it. This is where you want to be. This is what you wanted to do. So even if you do have doubts, trust yourself. Trust yourself. That just flew out. Yes, it's a new adventure. That's why, right? You have to take that leap of faith. It's something that's not organized. You don't have a clear vision. You're going to have to discover along the way. You're going to have to dare and put yourself out there and get out of your comfort zone. That's why you're hesitating, right? Because you do like control. Here you are, Sagittarius. 
excited, happy, because it's something, I feel like it's something you're really passionate about. And again, the hermit, right? Thinking long and hard. And again, the magician, it's coming in. And, and the hangman, okay, take a step back again. And uh, if, if you feel like it's not going your way or not going fast enough or you're not getting all the answers right away or the resources, you have the Ace of Pentacles here. So if it's money look you're looking for, that money that is supposed to come in, that offer or that loan or those people that are helping you, that partnership, whatever it is, there can be a partnership here with the lovers. Um, it feels like that's a big push. You're going to be in your element. You're a master at what you do. You have the resources. You have the network to get the job done, right? Just take a step back. If it's not going your way or it's slow or you don't really understand why or how it's going to happen in this way, maybe you thought it was going to happen faster or in a different way with the hangman. Because the hangman is, you know, understanding to see it from a different angle, something different. And maybe the project, well, not maybe, the project has probably, now project, job, business, whatever this is. Maybe you want to go back to school or go to school. Maybe you want to get that diploma and it's taking forever to get answers and see if you're going to get in there. Maybe you're waiting that for that loan forever or waiting. maybe you're waiting for that call back forever. Or maybe, like I said, you're just hesitating in starting on this new path because it's different and it demands a lot of resources and logistics and choices and decisions and it's not something that's done overnight. But here, I think that the situation is being unblocked. So if you're waiting for finances, here's the Ace of Pentacles. If you're waiting for... You know, if there's a reorg, maybe in your company, you will find the answers and recenter yourself and find control and be able to move forward. Use this time to gain a new perspective. If you're still in that momentum, in that waiting game, not quite sure, you know, what's when this is going to happen or how or when you're going to get the answers or the money or whatever, use this time to gain a new perspective that things can be going or happening in a different way. Four of Wands celebrating. Being in the right space. So yes, this is happening. Yes, this is something you've wanted. The finances are coming. It's being unblocked. And whatever it is you're waiting for, it will be unblocked. The answer is coming in. And so the green light is coming in. Whatever the green light means for you, whether it's finances or acceptance in a program, in a school, or the answer for that job or for that loan, whatever. I feel like it. And, but it's new. And so it's freaking you out right? With the fool. But that's okay. I mean, if this is a new career, a whole new path, you ha you're automatically already accepting the fact that you're going to get out of your comfort zone and this is not going to be something you've already done and you're going to have to discover along the way and you're going to have to be creative and dare and put yourself out there to do different things in a different way. Because I think this is something that you truly want to do. Comment down below. Let me know what this is. I think that you'll be doing just fine. And with the strength card, even if things are challenging, because, yeah, especially if it's a huge change in your life, right? A whole different path or huge shift in career or something different you're doing in your company or something like that, right? Or that requires training or re requires a big change. It's like you have the strength to overcome all this, even if they're challenges. And they're always challenges. They're always challenges. Nothing is linear. Nothing is linear. Yes, this is new. 
page of wands. You're excited. It's your passion. Yet you're freaked out because it's going to be different. Well, yeah. <laughs> right? But I'd rather, I'd rather, this is not me speaking, but it, it's better to be excited about the unknown than to be disappointed about something same old, same old that you know you don't want to be in anymore. All right, page of wands, enthusiasm, new, all new. This is young, new, maybe a little inexperienced, but I, I think that you will gain momentum very rapidly in this new venture, job path, business, career, whatever it is, but it's fresh. I like pages, right? Even though we're not quite sure Maybe we're taking um, uh, um, a risk, right? Because we've never done this before. But you're at the Ten of Wands. So no matter what, you're getting out of a cycle. Pressure, stress. And there we go. There we go. There's your... I mean, doesn't get clear. This, this is pretty simple, right? You're at the end of this cycle. Ten of Wands, stressful. A lot of pressure there. Probably that's why you're, you know, processing this and trying to figure out and really thinking long and hard on, you know, is it time? When is the time? Should I do this? Should I still wait? I still don't have all the answers. And uh, can I really do this? Right? Yes, you can. Yes, absolutely. And here it is. New adventure, new path, time to do this. Here's your offer. Here's your money. Here's what you believed in with the star moving into something smoother, softer, maybe going back to sources, maybe going back to something that that means that's essential to you. Doesn't mean you're going back to a job, but it can be going back to something that makes more sense to you in a job, in a project, in a career, right? Something that is that makes sense, that is fulfilling, that is meaningful for you. That's what, you know, and the star is about also, uh, you know, that reprieve after a long period of challenges, a long period of trying to figure things out, realizing who you are in this moment, right? Who, who, who you are beneath at your core essence. That's why I'm, I'm saying that this is probably a choice in your career that makes sense to you because it's important. It's what you've been wanting to do and it makes sense to you and it's profoundly important. So no matter what the challenge is, you know that you're connected and you're you're in, in the right place. You know, connecting connected to the right energies. So it's about letting go of the old sense of yourself and having a whole new appreciation of who you are in this new energy, new goal, new process, new path, whatever it is. And so I think that you're entering a more peaceful phase, even if you're doubting, even if you're not quite sure right now, because maybe you haven't started yet. I think that this calm, calm energy, because it feels like a calmer energy, it's going to be much more... Um, fulfilling but it's also going to be more of a mental stability and also again much more depth and understanding in both yourself and others within this community job business path whatever it is it's a significant growth in your career but also in your personal emotional stability a significant growth and and um and development, right? Ready to manifest and receive. So you're ready. Um, I don't know how many times I said that. So I want to believe that the magic word is I'm ready, right? So if that can empower you or boost you a little bit, sending you all, sending you all um, positive, positive vibes. If you're t still hesitating or still not real, not understanding exactly where you want to go, or is it the right timing? Or is that really for you? Or I say a big, big yes. So, um, you can put in the, in the comment down below, I'm ready. 
Um, and uh, if you're interested in putting your name in the hat for free reading or just if you want to empower yourself and others uh, within this platform. So um, I hope you enjoyed this reading as much as I did. Thank you so, so much for watching. Thank you to each and every one for sharing, for sharing your journeys, your energies, for being here, for supporting this channel and connecting. Thank you. From the bottom of my heart, gratitude to each and every one. Have a great week, Sagittarius. Take care. Bye-bye.